Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I don't know what I was singing there. I'm Alex. This is the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight here on the East Coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, in a prone position. A prone position. This is Will Durst's head. (laughs) <laughs> You're interviewing Will Durst's head. Yeah, Will Durst's head. And uh, what, you, you mentioned to me before we started this that while you're there, they may have to come and change your diaper. Yeah. Now, you don't, need, out. you don't need to use the diaper because you're incontinent, but because you can't get out of bed, right? Right. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of think that might be fun. Uh, you know, all my life I've had to find a bathroom. I've had to excuse myself to go to the bathroom. It'd just be great to just pee in your pants. Oh, man, is the diaper leaks. Oh, okay. Well, so much for my idea of a good time. Yeah. So anyway, where are we in the rehabilitation of Will Durst? Uh, left leg is getting stronger. It's starting to be weight-bearing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How about the hand? Left uh, left arm can move. Mm-hmm. Left hand can do certain things, not other things. Yeah. So it it's 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 starting to all the work is it's starting to work, right? Yeah, it's all coming together. Now, if you didn't do any of the exercises or any of the stuff they have you to do, would it would it come back anyway, kind of to a certain extent? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. They don't nobody knows. Everybody's different. But they don't want to see if, you know, they don't want to take a chance that, you know. I don't want to take a chance. Right. 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 What so, are we gonna do? Lie in bed for another three months? Yeah. In case people don't know, let's get them up to date. Uh okay. you you were very inconsiderate about a year ago and had a stroke. I had a stroke. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we wondered what part of you was, was going to be gone. And so it was your leg and your arm. But your brain yeah. is still going pretty damn good. Well, you that. might get arguments on that. <laughs> well, so, uh, you know, you are, have been our political go-to guy. Right? I have been lucky. Yeah. But a lot of a lot of things yeah. have happened since we talked to you last. Did we talk to you last after the insurrection at the Capitol? I don't think so. I don't think we have. What? Well, how did you? You're you're lying there in bed, right? All you've got to do all day is watch. You know. I was watching it. Yeah. Yeah. So what was what was going through your mind when you watched it going on? A typical Trump production. <laughs> It was underthought mm-hmm. and no follow through. And no follow through. Yeah. No. F- yeah. They made a big mess. They made a big noise. They tried to kill some people if they could, but they couldn't find them. It's kind of the gang who couldn't shoot straight. Am I right about that? Yeah. The little coup that couldn't. The little coup that couldn't. Yeah. I think I can. I think I can. No, nope, I can't. I can't. Uh, that's amazing, isn't it? You know what a what a piece of crap that whole thing was. And I mean, it, you, it, did you think ever in your lifetime you would see an attempt to overthrow our government? Not by this preening uh, narcissist. You, you know, I mean, there are movies like uh, oh, uh, uh, fail safe, fail safe, and Red Dawn. And all these movies that supposed about it, but this was no movie. This was the real deal, you know. And it got to be incredibly easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just overwhelmed the police force, and, you know, with numbers, with bodies. Right, right. So I mean, um, 
but I mean, j just looking at the the nuttiness of it. For instance, the guy with the buffalo horns. For it, no apparent reason. What morning did he wake up and decide that was a good fashion statement? That's a good look for me. Huh? Yeah, that's a good look for That'd me. That'd be though. good for you. That'd be good for you. You could go get the horns. No, that's what he said when he saw himself in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. It, it was, it was, it, and, and, uh, so, so it, it, my favorite was, uh, the lady who stole Nancy Pelosi's notebook and wanted to sell it to the Russians. <laughs> yeah. Like the Russians care what Nancy Pelosi wrote in her notebook. Yeah. Yeah. How, how to feed mom. Yeah. 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 Um, there's this, have you heard about this woman, Lauren Boebert? No, but I know about Lauren Bobbitt. Bobbitt? No, it's not Bobbitt. What are you talking about? I know, about? it's Bobbitt. Bo yeah, you, you, you know, remember Lauren you, Bobbitt. Yeah, Lorraine, Lorraine Bobbitt. Bobbitt. That was Lorraine Bobbitt. That wasn't Lauren. That was oh. Lorraine Bobbitt. Um, uh, the peeny cutter offer. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but is a congresswoman, mm -hmm. isn't she? Uh, yeah, she's a congresswoman. Looks like she's the one that was leading people around the Capitol the day beforehand. Ah, uh, and and uh, she's a real piece gotta... of work. She she hangs out with militias, okay. She hangs out with militias, and uh, she owns a restaurant called Shooters, in which all the waiters and waitresses wear sidearms. Is that legal? I guess. In in Colorado, huh? Yeah, in Colorado, it's probably essential, you know. But I mean, it, yeah, that was it. That was the, that was the whole thing they did, you know. And she she um, she she brings a gun to the Capitol, right? Uh, Every day. Yeah, supposedly. How she get around the metal detectors? I guess she says, "I have my own gun. Here it is." She probably. I, mean, I imagine. If you bring a gun in, you're a congressman, and you say, uh, you know, I have a First no, Amendment no. right to this and so on, you can probably get it through. You know, it's just you and I couldn't. What if we said we were congressmen? What if we said we were fucking morons like she is? Do they accept fucking moron as an excuse? Oops, there goes Durst's phone. Will, did we lose you? Will, there's no picture, there's no nothing. Oh, Will. Hmm, hmm. Well, what happened? Let's see here. Let me see here. Um, no, no, he, we lost him. Hmm, damn, this is not good. Well, I could stop. Uh, let's see here. What are we going to do? I'll put this on pause for a second, and we'll see if we get him back. Okay, so I put us on pause because he had some problems with his phone. You know, isn't technology wonderful? <laughs> Big smile. Uh, anyway, uh, so so I don't know about guns in the in the capital. She she just wants her guns. She loves her guns. She's a and she hangs out with militias and so on. What what, were, what did the guy who was carrying around the lectern, he thought he could walk away with the lectern? Yeah, I think so. Was he just going to put it in the trunk of his car? I guess he was going to. In front of the police? Yeah, man. Who knows why they do any of this? These people were nuts, all right? You know, they were crazy, <coughs> but their intent, their intent was insurrection. Most of them were arrested because of selfies they posted. Oh, yeah. That was the other part of the stupidity. Hey, let's take some videos and selfies and, you know, let's show all the terrible things we're doing. Here I am sitting in Nancy Pelosi's desk with my feet up on the desk. Da, 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 da. It, it just said, uh, you know, they may as well have gone around with a shirt. They didn't say, you know, Trump on it. It should have just said, uh, uh, bust me. You know. Yeah. Yeah.
Anyway, you've got your finger, I think, over your microphone. I think you've got your finger over your microphone. You're kind of muffled. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, and now we need your face in the picture. There we go. See, you got to realize, you got to realize, folks, that what we're doing here uh, is not uh, the best science of all because he's in bed with one hand that doesn't work well, and we're trying to operate an iPhone here and do this. You know, but remember, they got pictures from the moon. Okay, just remember that. Anyway, sixty-nine. What? That was in nineteen sixty-nine. Yeah, yeah. God, that was a long time ago. That was fifty-one years ago. You know, when they say that, it really makes me feel old. You know. When 51 I, years? Yeah, throwing numbers like that around. Yeah. Well, I realize, uh, uh, you know, there was a picture of you and I taken at the Phoenix uh, Motel. Or hotel. Oh, yeah. part of the New Year's Eve parties? New, one of the New Year's Eve parties, yeah. And I couldn't figure out who the woman was sitting next to me, and then it turned out it was my ex-girlfriend, Xanthi. Uh, but, uh, but she somehow looked different. She was all made up and everything, and she just, you know... I didn't, I didn't, I said, said, who's that hot woman sitting next to me? And then I realized it was my girlfriend, you know, but it was that long ago. What year was that, that picture? Oh, geez, I don't know. That was 84, 85. Yeah. And how many years ago was that then? Uh, 35. 35 years ago. I'm going, what, you know, it's like. Uh, Marlon Brando said he didn't want to die and his last dying words be, what was, what the fuck was that all about? You know, but I'm beginning to kind of ask that question because it just, it, 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 it went by slow. I think those are great dying words. What? I think those are great last words. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what, what the fuck was that all about? I'm, I'm, I'm going to think that when I'm dying. Yeah. Why? Why did I? Why? What, what was it meant to be? Did, yeah. What was the journey for? Yeah. Exactly. So uh, you know, but um, um, as are some, we supposed to, uh, you know, collect jewels on on the journey? What did you say? Are we supposed to collect jewels along the journey? Uh, jewels along the journey. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, oh, I got a video game yeah okay so you collect them all and then you drop dead what are you gonna do with them i don't know maybe you get a better a cushier seat in heaven yeah well it, it, let me ask you this you know because i have a great fear of death okay and i i know i can ask you this question without you being upset me you had a near-death experience all right the stroke i think was a near-death experience wasn't it or did you feel you were gonna die were you worried about dying at that moment? No, but I was later on when they put me on a ventilator. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. All right. I had a brain infection, so yeah. Yeah. So you you had a near death experience. How how did you have you always have you ever had a fear of death or are you just complacent about it? Near death experience. Yeah. Nah, nah. It's just. Uh, I had a near-death experience when I took acid one time. <laughs> well, so do we all. Come on. Yeah. That's what acid was about, was having that near-death experience. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, my question is, uh, did you, wa you watch the inauguration then, right? Another near-death experience. No, no, no. What do you mean? Oh. Not... I thought that's where you were going. No, that's not where I was going. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty uplifting. I thought he did a really nice job of it. His speech was exactly what America needed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone bring us together. Yeah. I think Uncle Joe is going to be a perfect uh, vegetarian dinner after the all-you-can-eat red meat buffet of <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Yeah. Well, I mean. I just, you know, I looked at a picture of the White House. They had it, you know, they were always taking pictures of the White House. Um, and the day afterwards, the day of the inauguration, somehow the White House looked cleaner. Didn't it look cleaner? 
I heard they played uh, Hit the Road, Jack. Really? When Trump was leaving, yeah. Who did? The people in the, in the White House? Yeah, the White House staffers. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's over with. Remember when Bush left? Yeah. The mall was full of people. Saying na 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 na, hey hey, goodbye. <laughs> so I think that's why Trump didn't make a big deal out of leaving. He didn't want. To, he remembered that. Yeah, yeah. I uh, uh, I just I think it was. I thought the the speech he gave was short and brief and good, and to the point, and cleansing. And I felt that uh, Lady Gaga looked like a tomato. I think that was the point, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know why she decided to... Well, she, well let's give her credit. She went with a non-meat outfit, okay? Yeah. So... A, veg a vegetarian uh, <laughs> outfit, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Was that... Pro Do you think that was proper of her to show up that way? I mean, she sang great. I mean, she did a great job of the Star Spangled Banner, and she didn't uh, over sing it or anything like that. No, she didn't do trills. Or, yeah, yeah, at the very end, she did a little, you know. But uh, outside of that, she was fine. But then my wife is sitting here going, what's with that red tomato thing she's got on? You know. She's always been fashion forward. She's always been fashion forward, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so maybe next 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 month, everybody will be wearing tomatoes. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, I mean, the fashion forward for her was a T-bone as opposed to a flank, you know. So. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so um, what do you, do you think, to begin with, you got your uh, COVID shot. Got my COVID shot, still wearing my Band-Aid. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, did you get the Pfizer or Moderna? Pfizer. I think I got Pfizer because they said uh, 21 days will give you another one. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad that they're attending to you that way. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'm glad you got it. My wife got hers, too. Oh, really? She has in line, but she got hers. I um, uh, I have to wait. I, well, I had, from the date I got it, I have to wait about five and a half weeks because that was the first date they had available. Oh, for the second one? For the second well, you shot. Have stand, you have to stand in line out in the cold? Well, we did, we did. We did for this one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm sitting there going, you know, old people are getting these things. Do you really want them standing out in the cold? I, in fact, the woman who was checking the line to see if everybody's in the right place and whatever from inside uh, came by. And I said, what are the chances we're going to die of pneumonia before COVID? You know, I mean, we were sitting out there, Marjorie, uh, she has a bad back and it, it kind of went out from standing up for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. That can happen. My back went out. Yeah. Let's watch Abby perform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But no, but you, you know what I'm saying. It just there was something very wrong about treating us that way, right? Well, that's New York, man. Yeah, I, I guess you know uh, it, it. It just uh, and then the fact that I have to wait, you know, five and a half weeks instead of the four weeks. But they now say the CDC says ah, you can go six weeks, you know, and they're probably saying six weeks because they know some people are going to do seven or eight. So they're, they've upped the guidance on those. Both of them, Moderna and Pfizer, you can go go six weeks and not, they, they're pretty sure everything's fine with that. Yeah. Oh, I see. You worry about the efficacy if you wait too long. Yeah, yeah. right, right. And, but in England, in England, they're waiting uh, for 12 weeks. Three months? Yeah, because their theory is this. If we, it, it'll still be good after, if you get the second shot after three months, but, and this is the big but, in the meantime, we got all the, the stuff we can put in people's arms that isn't being used for that second dose. So by stalling the second dose, they're giving more shots for the first dose. And they feel that yeah. it's important to do that. 
What? That makes sense. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't. It's people are only worried about getting the shot. Not mm-hmm. everybody's worried about the whole regime. Well, the first oh. shot though only gives you. I think in your case, Pfizer is like seventy-two percent. Moderna is fifty percent. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean I have a 50% chance of getting it, or if I get it, it's only going to be 50% as bad? I mean, what what is what does that percentage mean? They don't know. Yeah, they don't know yeah. anything. They just they don't know nothing. They're just sticking this thing in our arm and hoping it works. They're pulling shit out of their ass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm not saying I'm not going to get the shot. You know. But I, I, I would like to know the, the trouble I'm going to, standing in line for two hours, it's going to work, you know. And the fact that this thing has been around for over a year now. Yeah. Maybe they should know a little more. Well, uh, yeah, it's amazing how little they know, you know. They don't know if uh, once you have it, if you're immune or for how long. They don't know either one of those. Right. They don't know how long the shots work for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't know nothing. They don't know doodling. You know, but they do know that it works, but they just don't know how long. You know, it could be it's only good for three months, and then you're going to get COVID again. We don't even know how much we don't know. (laughs) Yes. We don't. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. So how do you think Biden's going to do? You 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 feel good about him? Uh, I just read something that was uh, encouraged, exhorting him not to make the mistake of uh, Obama. Which is what? Be competent, but uh, quiet about it. Okay. It's, uh, well, but, but Obama was quiet about it, right? Yeah. Well, he, what you're saying is that that was a that was a problem that he was he was quiet about it that he should have boasted yeah. about everything he did. Trump was able to say he didn't do nothing because he never told you he was doing stuff. Right. He never waved it in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. So, who knows? You know. So, so yeah, I think uh, Biden needs to be a little more self congratulatory. Yeah. Not as much as the last guy. Well, I think maybe what you're saying is he needs to handle his PR well. You know, right. he, 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 what, what somebody said today, and I was, I was watching a show, The Circus, which is on Showtime, and uh, they had on, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember the, the writer's name. But anyway, he said that all he has to do is get this virus under control get those shots into arms and start the herd immunity and he will be looked at as one of the greatest presidents ever. I mean, that that I hear, that yeah. alone will just give him a pass to do anything else he wants to do, including re-election if he wants it. Including re-election, but I do you think he's he'd rerun? I mean, come on, he's going to be what? 82 if he re-ran? Yeah, he's 78 now. Yeah, I think he's a one-term president if you want my opinion. I mean, and then Kamala. And then Kamala, yeah. Gee, wouldn't it be fun if Kamala was president? Then we could refer to her administration as Camelot. You get it? I'm stretching on that one, huh? Cam- yeah, then Willie Brown is, the, is uh, the boy who pulled the sword from the stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um they used to go together, right? He and Sheen, he and Sheen Willie Brown. Yeah, he was her mentor. Her mentor. Wink, wink, nod, nod. There was a little more than that, wasn't there? there was... Yeah, I think that relationship was a little more personal. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, he, he won't admit anything though. Yeah, but he must be proud of her, you know. Um, and uh, I'm a good politician, huh? I think she's a good politician. I think she's a great politician. I think she's smart. I think she's good. And I think if he dropped dead tomorrow, she'd make a decent president. Okay? Yeah. You know? So that's all we want out of the vice president. They're standing by in case of death. That's really what it's all about. 
Yeah. And uh, they should have a lot of black, nice black suits for, you know, yeah. international funerals. Hey, I just noticed we've run out of time here. Oh, no. Yes. Well, so now when I hit the stop. Buddy, great to see you. Yeah, and uh, let's do this again. Stay where you are. I'll talk to you after we're through here. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the recuperating. God, it's we hurry up and recuperate. We hurry up and recuperate all the way. I will. Yeah, it's Will Durst, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get my foot, my leg. You watch. I'll be walking soon. C'est Gabnet. La grande broadcast never cam, Rick. Parlez radio comme vous n'en avez jamais entendu. Hmm. That's in French. That's for our French friends. Who we may have like one viewer in France, and for that one viewer, uh, we of course uh, go. Uh... C'est Gabnet. La grande broadcast never cam, Rick. Parlez radio comme vous n'en avez jamais entendu. Hmm. Gee, I would like a croissant now. Feeling like a croissant. You, do you know what they have at? Uh, uh, um, um, I, I went down to uh, Popeyes the other day for, you know, their chicken. It's killer chicken, right? And, and the red beans and rice, which is killer red beans and rice. And what they're serving now are chocolate beignets. Do you know what beignets are? If you've ever been to New Orleans, it is a, a big treat down there. So I've. I don't know. I'm, I've been doing the diet, and I don't want to. You know, I don't want to go off the deep end and have a chocolate beignet, but I'm. I'm kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. But anyway, hey, it looks like there are a whole bunch of people that want to talk. So I better. I better bring them in now. Okay. All right. Uh, 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 come on. There we go. They're they're slowly coming in. Okay, we got no, uh, oh, and uh, we're waiting for Char on Charlie Wallace. Hello, Alan. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? And, and good evening to Vernon Nunn, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's no one like none. Uh, there's none like none. I I don't know something. Like and Trucker Steve and uh, the dog's around, isn't he? He's upstairs playing with his toys. Yeah, yeah. What's his favorite toy? Uh, he has uh, one we got from for Christmas, uh, Lamb Chop. You know the cartoon character. Oh, lamb chop. oh, I see. Okay, because I thought maybe it was a lamb chop. You know. No, no, no. Because they, they have the, they have those little toys for dogs that are like uh, look, look, look they look like a steak or something, and then they would bite them and they make a sound. Yeah, a squeaky sound. Yeah. So well, this one looks like Lamb Chop the lamb. Oh, the okay. Lamb. Yeah, yeah, right. The uh, Sherry Lewis. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was thinking it was a squeezy Trump thing that you chew on. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about him. I just, I'm tired of him. You know, it's nice to hear Will Durst's voice again. Uh -huh. Here in the Bay Area, he would always uh, have a little bit of political uh, funniness on the radio station every once in a while. And I hadn't heard of him in a while. It's good to see that he's. Okay. Well, yeah. he's he's alive, and hopefully he will be more than alive. You know, uh, he well, will. It sounds like he's got his, uh, you know, his brain is working, and that's a good thing. Yeah, that's very Especially important. after a stroke. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And we've been joined by Tony, and we're being joined by Brian Neary, uh, and uh, here's Charlie with the latest death report. <laughs> 3,618 of us left the world today. It's going down. How, you know, it's, it's going down. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's going down. You know. Yeah. Um, that's like, like you're saying I have a touch of the cancer. You know. Yeah. Uh, but it, no, it, it, it's going <clears throat> down, but um, it's, not, it's not enough. That's still, how many again? 3,618. Yeah. We're and up to 428,900 dead. 24,000. The 428,000. 428,000. Oh, God. Uh, it's how depressing. You know, I, I, uh, hello, oh, hello. Uh, here's Tony. He's back from his uh, grief sabbatical. No black. <laughs> huh? No black. 
No, I'm no. doing better. I'm yeah. doing, but thanks for the message, yeah. John. Yeah, yeah. well, I just, you know, I, I care about you. Not that much, but I care about you. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Yeah, you can take what you can get. Um, no, I was thinking about it today, and I, I think this is, I, I don't want to be a downer here, okay? Mm. Uh, can, you. But can I be? Yeah, of course. Sure. Um, I think if this is the end of the world as we know it. I really do. Yep. You know, uh, between all that we heard today, like they're going to do a thing about climate change. Now, you can do all you want to, but all you can do is make statements about uh, climate change. You can't actually affect, you know, bring about climate change unless you pull everything back and do what you got to do. And it's very nice to make all these statements about how we're going to go. We're going to do something about climate change. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to do enough about it fast enough to stop what's been happening. Look, we had COVID, we've had floods, we've had pestilence, we've had all these things that are the beginning of the end. I mean, in, in any science fiction movie, okay? I mean, do you think we're done for? Because now with the coronavirus, they say, well, you know, that was coronavirus yesterday. The one that's yeah, coming, now. the one that's coming, right? Yeah, Comes out know. to your house and knocks on the door. You know. I'm ready to pick out my casket. <laughs> yeah, yeah pick, pick out your casket. There's one more space in my mother's uh, grave. I'm, Here I, I feel like I'm playing. I'm feel like I'm playing dodgeball with a, with a, with a virus yeah. with a bug. You know. I heard. I, I heard the second dose. Yeah. I heard today that the death the death trend right now is six hundred thousand by the end of August. Oh boy. And that's only the ones that they know of. What about who died and there wasn't COVID? There, there are. It really there, was. There, there probably is a certain percentage of those, too. However, there's a certain percentage who died because they had COVID, but they had some kind of comorbidity that maybe was going to kill them anyway. So the question is, did they die of COVID or did they die of the comorbidity? Now they're using the term died of complications from COVID. That's oh. the latest category. Yes, uh, Charlie, he's the expert. Well, I was going to say, it, to me, to say somebody has cancer, but this truck ran him over, <laughs> but he really didn't die because the truck ran him over, is ridiculous. Lost. He lost his battle with cancer. <laughs> <laughs> A Mack I truck mean, hit him. <laughs> well, they said that, uh, but, who was it recently <laughs> died of complications from COVID? Uh, oh, I think it was Larry, Larry King. Yeah, King. King. Well, his well. wife, I saw a story that said his wife said it wasn't, he didn't die from that. Uh, really? Really? What did he yeah. say? What did he die from? I didn't read the story, but it, I only saw the headline that said it wasn't COVID. Oh, it was it probably else. being really, really old, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah he was 91. Who? Or whatever he was. No, he was only 87. Yeah. He, yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. He's, he was only six years older than me. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and today oh, we lost yeah. Cloris Leachman at, yeah. 90, at what ninety four years old. She's only twelve years older than I am, or thirteen wow. years older than I am. He's not getting twelve, 12 more years is twelve more years is a good run, Alex. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, I gotta tell years. you, they're really <laughs> it, in most cases they're really a shitty twelve years. You How know? do you know? I, well, I'm all, all. If I could, if I could live to be a hundred, and until I was a hundred, I was in pretty good shape, and I had my brains going. I could still do this, and I didn't hurt, and I didn't ache, and things like that. But God, I, when I reach a hundred, I'm just going to be this vegetable, you know. So, I, I'll still I, be I, here, huh? Yeah. We'll still be here. I know you yeah. will. That's what make, you know. That's why I never got a uh, haven't gotten a cat recently, because yeah. I know the cat will sit there looking at me saying, "I'll be here after you're gone. <laughs> Go anytime you want to. <laughs> Just leave some food. Leave Mo some food." Monday's uh, Monday's chat was good. I, I learned that uh, you and Shecky know less about Judaism than I do. Oh, yeah, well, uh, are you, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, Alan, are, are you Jewish? Huh? Are you Jewish? Of course I'm Jewish. What do you mean, of you course know. you're Jewish? I thought, I thought you know, know. What do you mean, of course you're Jewish? Yes, I am. I'm Jewish. Um, I thought Phil told you. I thought he told me. Well, that I tonight. Is a very Jewish name. Tonight, Marjorie. Marjorie was going to, wasn't going to sleep. She was just reading and uh, not going to sleep. 
And I then looked at her and mm. said, gay schlothen. And I for, had forgotten that term for maybe 40 years. <laughs> and I just came up with it, boom, like that, you know, gay schlothen, which means go to sleep in Yiddish. And today's the National Holocaust Remembrance Day, right? I remember, yes. yeah, I, wait a minute, what was the Holocaust? Oh, wait a minute, it's Remembrance Day, isn't it? Oh, yes, the Holocaust. Uh, so just just for information, yeah. you, you, you were talking about how long somebody sits around after they're dead and they're embalmed. I didn't, say, I didn't ask that. No, you said it. Oh, really? uh, but we don't embalm. We bury, Jews are buried mm -hmm. really quick. No, we don't. We embalm. Yeah. My father was involved. Yeah. See, that's how little you know about Judaism. It's just that there's a two-day window of being a, of burying a loved one, and and part of the reason is is that the faster you bury the person, <clears throat> the the ease, faster it is to get over the grief. You know, and you and and the, the and example. the Muslims the Muslims go the Jews one better. They you have to do it within 24 hours. Oh wow, that's yeah. quick. Yeah, that is quick. <clears throat> they pretty Let's well. Is he dead? I Feel the pulse. Better. Okay, he's dead. Throw him in the I'm ground. In the hole. Let's go. <laughs> That's why Osama bin Laden was buried at sea. Yeah, they dumped him naked in the. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, uh, how long? Uh, it was a short time between your mother's death and the funeral, I believe. Yeah, it was. Like it was. Two she days died on a. Well, she died on Monday morning, and we had to call the funeral call. I know we laid her out Friday. Only one day, though. They made us wait because he had to pick up the body and everything, and he had a funeral before. Well, that. it's important that you pick up the body before you bury yeah. it. <laughs> Can you we know? just let... Yeah. At first, we weren't going to have anything because of the pandemic. The corners take, the corners take hours. We figured, you know what? We'll invite everybody and let it, let them have their... If they want to see her, then, you know, they come. If not, we understood. Yeah, and then they bring they food. Do, 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 do uh, you're, you're what, Italian? What are you exactly? Italian. I'm, I'm Italian, but we're more like. That's like a I question mark. It. It's like like Alan saying, "I'm a Jew." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, call it I call it Jew light L I T. It's Jew light light. light. Yeah. A anyway, so um, uh, but she but she uh, and she died fairly shortly after contracting the COVID too. It was yeah, not. Alex, it was she was home, and her lungs they said were clear, and she left. She was gone a week later. It was so fast. So you, it was almost like you couldn't really believe it. So it was like, boom, gone. Well, maybe they sent her home too early. Maybe they sent her home too early. That's yeah. what I think. They, you know, they said her lungs were clear. Everything was good. They, and and then I think so, too. My sister feels bad. But I, we couldn't be in the hospital because I was positive. So if they yeah. were saying she was all right to come home. I mean, I don't know, you know. Was it, was it packed at the hospital? You go to the ER? It or? was so so. They had room though, but it seems like the way I always took it, they're like, we can't do anything else. She's probably more comfortable at home because she was getting delusional and stuff. They figured if she was home in her surroundings and her lungs were clear, she didn't even come home with oxygen. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. And then all of a sudden she took ill. You took her back to the hospital, and before you know it, she's gone. Yeah, no, Alex, I woke up that Sunday morning. She was sleeping. I was going to get the paper. Yeah. And I walked by her room. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Let me just see. And I went closer. And she was like, she must look like she spit up. She was on her side. And I couldn't wake her up. I tried to pinch her. I tried to do everything. And I called my brother downstairs. And then we called the ambulance. She never got up again. So wow. last time I talked to her was Saturday night. Yeah. This yeah. Is, it, too bad you're not married. Because then you could, after your mother died, go home and say to your wife, I have something to tell you. What? I've been fired. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now I can now now we want to redo the room. What do I do to keep this wallpaper? Up? No, you got to keep. If you're gonna do it, you just you get rid of all that wallpaper except the I mean, for right behind you, so we can keep yeah, making I mean, fun of it. I mean, she's probably laughing about this because she used to joke when I used to joke about mother wallpaper is horrible. I know, but I like it. <laughs> it's terrible. It's like 1970. Back so, so your mother was what 80? Yeah, she would have been 81 March 4th. Wow. Yeah. Mm. It was bittersweet when I got the vaccine. And I, I mean, I was happy seeing everybody in there in the school. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, we were helping some of the old people get in. I was like, mom, mom could have been here with me. So kinda, I was sad, but then I said, maybe it's just fate. You know, my sister felt really bad. Listen, listen, there are a lot what? of people. There are a lot of people in this country right now facing exactly what you faced mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and are, are just swearing at 
what that whatever. Why yeah. couldn't the person have Why lasted long yeah, enough? Yeah, I was asking you that too. Yeah. You know, for the uh, for the uh, vaccine. You know, so I mean, it it, it it you know, and who knows if this vaccine's going to work in the end? I mean, it may be good for a month and a half after you get the second shot. They don't I know. Do. I know they don't know. Yeah. And now we got the new well, strain coming. It, we think it'll cover it. We're not sure. We may need a booster shot. Be I'm happy worried. they know. Be happy they know as much as they know so quick. Absolutely. Even with testing, they they were praising the PCR, PCR testing that we that people got that turned around so quick because you know it takes forever to get anything. So Moderna has had the vaccine in people over nine months, and they're still those people are still. They're testing them constantly and Pfizer, but Moderna has had it the longest, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, those people still can't get COVID according to at least what they know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but they, I, got, they, I have something they interesting to say, Alex. What? What's that, Brian? Oh, it's going to say they, they need to have people that have COVID and cough on them and then see if they have COVID. Yeah, after right, that. right. Listen, listen to this, Alex. Yeah. My friend of my sister's friend Tim. He's a retired police officer, yeah. detective. His wife Donna is a nurse in the city. Mm -hmm. Tim just messaged me. He tested positive for COVID. Now Donna already has the vaccine, two shots. She got tested now on the way home from work just to make sure. So I'm going to let you know. I says Donna, you think you'll be coming? She says I know I don't have it, but now we'll know because he's in the house with her, and she's had the vaccine now for two weeks, the second dose, and he just tested positive today. Well, second dose, wow. Yeah, so she, she's had it. She hasn't tested positive. Well, she just took the test leaving work again, and he's already tested positive. But he didn't so get the did. vaccine. He didn't get the vaccine yet, but she did two weeks ago. She got the second dose. Well, well two That'd weeks ago, test. she had the second dose, so she was in the first wave. Is she a medical person or something? Yeah, she's a yeah. nurse practitioner. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. All right. Well, and, and is she positive? Well, she, she just told me, Tony, she says, I took the test again because says, Donna, this is a good test for the vaccine. She called yeah. me, she says, I'm fairly confident. I know I don't have it. Well, here's, I'm what, take the here, test here's anyway. what's interesting. Marjorie, you know, goes in for, for, for little procedures every now and then for her back. And they have to go in. They put her out so they can put some juice in her back to kill the pain and whatever. And uh, they've been making her go and get COVID tests every time before they put her out. Okay. Uh, and, and so it's always a pain in the ass, but it takes only 15 minutes. She goes down the street, gets the COVID test. By the time she gets to the doctor, they've called him and said, she's okay. All right. Doctor, she yesterday said, when you get your second shot, you don't need to get the COVID uh, test. Oh, nice. So she's clear then. So that, they, I, I think, you know, like I have a little CDC card and they fill yeah. it out for the second dose. Maybe you get to carry that around and you can I show it to people and you say. you think they're going to give us a medical card? Huh? That's what I was curious. You think they'll give us a medical card for our wallet that we had it? Uh, you get a sticker. You get a I, I vaccinated sticker. <laughs> like the I voted. Yeah, yeah but you, they put a tattoo on they, your on your chest. They should put a tattoo on your chest. Yeah. yeah. Tony, Tony, when Bernie's, you got your, Bernie's I got my card inside. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say when you get your shot, the CDC printed up things and it should show. What vaccine you got, the date, the lot number, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, I got it on top of the sink. Yeah, um, I, I got mine, too. Take a picture of it in case you lose it. My woman wrote something wrong down there and crossed it out and wrote something else in. I can't even read it. But, <laughs> oh, you know, no. anyway, I, I've got the card. I've got it in my wallet, so I don't forget. I think it's it. us horse urine on yours, Alex. Yeah. Uh, but by the way, <laughs> Ray Bernati's brought a very special guest tonight. Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. Hi, uh, Bernie. <laughs> oh, Bernie. I thought it was my mom. <laughs> why does everybody? No, I'm not doing your mom anymore. Why does everybody find mom. that so funny? It was cold. Yeah. I don't know. He does look funny. <laughs> if I were there, I would have done the same thing. The only thing is that he was there wearing those gloves, but he has no cap on, wool cap or something. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe that's what makes it funny. <laughs> that's probably what makes it so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're like only half dressed. And how do, how do we know that's Bernie? We he's got a mask on. You can't tell it's Bernie. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, yeah, I, I don't know. You know, I went to the doctor today, and I've always wanted to ask the doctor this question. So I said, Doc, I got a question that I've always wanted to ask and never never remember. So what's that? And I said, What's the difference between an oral thermometer and rectal? Th rectal oh God, thermometer? here we go. And he says the taste. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, we get the gauges. That's awesome. I, I have a feeling he didn't go to his doctor, and the doctor no. never said anything of the sort. It's a it's a Rodney Dangerfield joke. Yeah. I was watching them last night. Sorry. Dude, this a, is a hard crowd. Who gets so, a the only thing? Only people that get rectal thermometers really are babies. You're an expert. Yeah. Because you can't stick... Well, I don't know. I don't, never had any kids, but I know that you can't stick it in their mouth because they'll keep spitting it out or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and, early, and, early and, on, it was mercury, and they didn't want the kid to bite into the glass. Oh, that's yeah, a good mercury. reason. Yeah. I bought you a joke rectal thermometer, Alex. Yes, Alan. I remember. <laughs> I don't know and what... And it never got there. Oh, it did. I oh, you did get it? it? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember what happened to it. Oh, okay. It was really late then. Okay. It was. Yeah, it, what, it. What, is, what did it say yeah. on it? What was the gag on it? Uh, I don't know. It was only like three bucks. So I bought it. Oh, good. Remember. Good. Why don't you buy me something expensive? Sometime? Well, I don't know. Yeah, you, know? you know. All right, I'll get you ten dollars. A real one. Hey, 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 if anybody wants to send me a get, gift, it's got to be at least ten bucks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Otherwise, okay. don't send it to me. Right. It means ten dollars. I think it was seven. Ten was shipping. Yeah. So anyway, so Tony, so you're uh, you're you're doing you look like you're doing okay, you know? Pretty good actually. You know, I took your advice. You know what? I can't. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. You miss it, but it's just fate, I guess. Like I told myself, you sister. did everything yeah. you could for her. You were so caring, in spite of the fact you were getting paid for it. You were caring yeah, nonetheless. Damn it! Why couldn't she live a few more years? I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. yeah well, I'm I mean, it. it what was what was hard though is that I'll always remember is I got to say goodbye in the emergency room, but when they took her upstairs, they did the, they did that video, mm. and they were doing it by phone. My sister blew it. I mean, she got mad. She blew her top. They let her back in. I never went back in because I said goodbye earlier, and it was kind of like I felt bad for all these people in April. Now they had to mm. say goodbye through video. Yeah. They died by themselves. I'm glad my mother never woke up again because if she would have woke up by herself, that would have been horrible. Yeah. 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 Especially after you thought she was dead. Yeah, yeah. and if she would have woke up and, and would have, I would have had to go up there. There was no way I would have let her go by herself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I, they would have I, had to arrest I, me. I had a friend that died at the end of May and uh, out of town at work, somewhere Mississippi or something like that. No friends, no family, no nobody. I was glad she never woke up again. That's, that's the one comforting thing. Yeah. Man. Hmm. Anyway. So, so um, is Trump still alive, Alex? Because I'm wishing death on him. He got my mother. <laughs> well, you know, um, a bitch. I can't. Tell I, you. I don't wish death on him, and I'll tell, I I'll tell you right. why. I'll tell I you why. I'll tell you why. Torture, I, wa I want him to live to be sued, to lose every penny he's yeah. got, trying to defend himself. Uh, you know, uh, having all his bank loans being pulled in. You know, th things like that. Stuff that that really will make him squirm where he can't go to where he can't go i mean what does trump do when he's down to his last penny he's not going to ask rudy for a loan i'll tell you that well <laughs> rudy rudy can't afford it he's got to give a no. billion dollars to dominion i know I love, i'm you know you're right uh, i'm twisting in the wind yeah i mean i you know i don't i want to see the guy alive and suffering you know because right now death would be uh, a way out uh, so. We could use them as a test subject. Inject them with live COVID. No, try try bleach. Give them. Give them so. Yeah, there you go. Bleach yeah. sounds good. I'm not a doctor, but I I'm smart. I'm smart. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can lose you? We think we can inject the black light into the human body. <laughs> I think we should <laughs> stick it up his butt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but up uh, but we we're going back to that whole Trump thing. See, this is the reason I don't want a. Um, uh, an impeachment is because, and I know he deserves it, okay, but I don't want it because we're going to be talking about him and we're going to be paying attention to him, and I, I don't, I don't want us to, you know. Well, let's talk yeah. about Marjorie Taylor Green then. There's nothing Ooh. else to talk about. Yeah. Let's Mar talk about Marjorie Taylor Green. Marjorie this is a Taylor congresswoman Green. from Georgia, mm -hmm. is a QAnon supporter and got elected yeah. to Congress. Even though Kevin McCarthy and and Steve Scalise didn't back her, she, they backed her opponent in the primary, but she got elected. Yeah. She's had all these face posts in 2017, 18, and 19 about, you know, assassinating Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. she, yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, she I mean. Be, she should be booted out of Congress. 
Yeah, yeah. and that other one, the uh, Bobert. Bobert. Or Bobert or Bobert. Or Lauren Bobert. Bobert. Bobert Lauren Bobert. Yeah. La- Lauren Bobert. Uh, she, uh, she, you know, she wants to tote a gun into the, into Congress, and uh, she's a nutcase. She hangs out with militias, and uh, oh, she was on a TV show, and people were saying that she had a group of people in there on January the fifth, and was scouting yeah. out the Capitol before the insurrection. Yeah. Well, well, she, you said, know, what she said it was her family. She said this was my first term in Congress, and those were family and friends that I was showing around. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, well, right. uh-huh. militia family, you know. I mean, yeah. but she, uh, she's, uh, she's a work of art because she has a, a she actually owns a, a uh, what do you call it? A, 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 we're, we're not not a not a restaurant exactly, but a you know, a diner, a bar, diner okay. kind of thing, cafe, and it's uh, called Shooters, and oh, yeah. all Shoot. the waiters and waitresses wear a gun, a sidearm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Real work of art. I, you know, I want to know who votes for these people, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, they they knew about Bobert and they knew about this woman and her craziness. I mean, I, I've been watching a documentary <coughs> that Vice is doing on, on QAnon, and they're nuts. I mean, they're just bonkers. I mean, they believe in stuff that even the most... Uh, I mean, even Phil doesn't believe in it. Okay, is that enough for all of you? <laughs> you know, uh, you'd be surprised what Phil believes in. It, well, but yeah. Phil doesn't. I'm sure Phil doesn't believe that Democrats eat babies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is, is one of the things they believe. Them? Well, the babies have some stuff in their blood that they inject, <laughs> kind of like disinfectant. It's. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, the, the thing is, I, I, I told, I told, I was telling him last night. I said, uh, you know, as a Democrat, I, there's nothing better than baby. You know, yeah, it's like uh, like feel, you know, it's, <laughs> it's like, like veal. Yeah. and the younger the better. If they get over a certain age, they get tough. You know, <laughs> baby scallopini. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 well, I, I they're really yummy with breading. Okay. Baby scallop. So I was That's thinking, great. I was thinking just for the fun of it, I'd come out with a QAnon baby cookbook and just have all these <laughs> recipes for cooking baby and see if I could sell it on like Amazon or something like that. Oh, you should do that. Yeah, I should do Probably, that. And I then I'd have QAnon banned. out here trying to kill me. I mean, these people are nuts. There have actually been people who have been di- died by, uh, yeah. killed by QAnon people. Oh, they are nuts. They're nuts. Uh, I, I, you know, but I just don't know where, where, how do you, how do you get to this point? I mean, I know there's a certain, I'll give a certain relevancy to being crazy, but this is more than crazy. This is batshit. Social media. Social media. Yep. Yeah. The thing that gets me, it's all, yeah. it's a lot of, it's like, you know, people over 50, <laughs> You know, it's not like no, no. These are young weird. people. These are young people too. Oh, yeah, it's everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. you can go to this site. It's called. I call. Well, here I have it right here. Let me bring it up in it's my. It's so hard uh, to find too. It's so hard to no, find. No, I, I, well, here's the place where you can find the stuff. Okay. Uh, I will show it on my screen, and it is called. Oops. Every time I do that, it makes the picture blink for a second, folks. So don't, please, don't hate me for it. Uh, this is it. This is um, uh, 8 Kuhn. 8 K U N. There was a thing called 8 Chan. First, it was 6 Chan, and then it was 8 Chan, and then they closed that down because they kept getting closed down. Now it's 8 Kuhn, and it's kind of like a message board, and it looks quite innocent. But supposedly, if you start going through some of this stuff, you've got some of these crazy ideas okay here's something called freedom zine what does that mean let me see here there we go and uh, let's see here it's, it's fun to pretend to be FBI on 8 Kuhn um, let me see here. I'm trying to see if I can find anything but How anyway you if you go that? to if you go to uh, 8 Kuhn dot T-O-P not dot com or dot T-O-P um you Eight get you get this uh, bad shit thing, okay? So I'm just I'm just uh, you know 
Yeah, Ver Vernon's exactly right. What they were talking about before is, you know, you have these crazy people, you have that crazy person in your town, and these crazy people have these crazy thoughts and crazy stuff. And then when they get on social media, they meet somebody else who has that crazy idea. And then they start talking, and that just grows and grows and grows until they start these. Becomes an echo chamber. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Malware bytes blocked me from going onto Eight Coon. I have to override it. Oh, do you really? Yeah, yeah. It says it's uh, browser guard blocked this page because it uses a suspicious top level domain. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? There's wow. gonna be a knock at your house. Well, <laughs> change, your, change your VPN to some other country. But you know, yeah, no, yeah I can fix. I can do it. I just don't. <laughs> You know what's mind-boggling over the whole thing, though? Four yeah. years ago, right, when he took office, look how divided and the country's off its rails. Well, listen, I want you, if you have a chance, go over to uh, Frontline on PBS, if you have the app for PBS or whatever, and look at the latest thing, which is just, it's called uh, the Trump, um, oh, what's it called? Trump's American Carnage. That's it. And it, what it does is it starts at the beginning of his term and works its way to the end of his term and shows all the different ways in which he created this environment that brought about the taking of the Capitol. You know, all his violent speeches in which he says, well, you know, we used to do with guys like that. We would take it, we'd, be, uh, we'd beat them up or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and I'll pay your legal bills. I'll pay your legal bills yeah, if you beat them up. Yeah. And, and, all, and they started showing you all these things in which he was creating this atmosphere of violence. And uh, it's, it's really, it's a, pr a pretty damn good documentary. Uh, uh, I won't say it's unbiased because there's not one moment in there that they say they try to excuse something he did. So uh, you get to a chance to watch that. Be sure to watch that. Um, so anyway, we got, let's see, two guys from California. Vernon, you're where again? You're in Ohio. Is it Ohio? Kentucky. 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 Oh, it's McConnell country. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, there's oh, a, Rand Paul, too. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I Rand claim, oh, I claim God. Rand Paul Man, as well. Man, you guys hit a home run on that one. Oh, my God. I know. Rand Paul's up in 2022, so. Yeah, He's but, I mean, case. Rand Paul is just. I can't stand that person. Yeah. Who oh can? You know, I think they actually wake up in the morning and say, how can I piss people off? <laughs> yeah. Let's take away their health insurance. Well, it's That's amazing, though. It's amazing, though, how, um, uh, how uh, what's his name? Uh, your, your other senator, uh, Mitch McConnell, has kind of like changes his stripes every other day. Now. Yeah, but you know what he did the other day about the, about the, the filibuster? Mm-hmm. If you read if you read the fine print, the reason he gave up on that is because Manchin and Siena, yeah. both Democrats, said that they were not in favor of getting rid of the filibuster. So he said, "Well, okay, well, I'll I'll, I'll give it up." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he um, it, it, the the Republicans are living in the la la land if they think they can prevent this uh, uh, Biden from getting all this stuff passed. We've got the votes, you know, except for the filibuster in the Senate. The, the and the, but what happens? They filibuster for a while, and then you take a vote, and you lose anyway, right? No, the filibuster is to allow you to bring something to the floor. If you if you filibuster, then that means, and it used to be that you had to stand up there I like Jimmy Stewart, yeah, and yeah, you had to read constantly. That's what I yeah. thought. Now now all you got to do is raise your hand, and say I filibuster. Everybody says, oh okay. <laughs> They should have to talk up there till they fall. Yeah. Uh, they fall over from being tired and hungry and, and have to take a pee. Nobody does that. Anymore. Nobody... I remember that when I was a kid. <laughs> They'd be there for hours. Yeah. How do they? How did they? Were they allowed to take a pee break during a filibuster? I don't know. Because don't some know. of those old guys have got bad prostate problems, as you know. Yeah. So I mean, you know. Depends. By the way, you might all be happy to hear that I've, I've started taking this Tamulosin that the doctor gave me about a year ago, and I never used it, and now I'm peeing like a racehorse. <laughs> I just want you to know that. Is that a good thing? Nice. Yeah. We're worried. Hmm? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Uh, it's just yeah. I'm peeing like a racehorse. I don't know how racehorses pee exactly, but, you know. Yeah. It's they lift their left leg. 
but, usually. Uh, <laughs> Vernon knows what I'm talking about for the first Does couple. Does let of, you sleep for the first? Night? You you had some urinary pro- problems in the beginning, didn't you? After the uh, radio activity, uh, the radio radiation. It, it changed a little bit, but I still get up in the middle of the night and go pee. So. I don't get up in the middle of the night anymore. I think everybody does. Oh, okay. um, but I think I, I think that's because I, I you know I'm, I'm still drinking water and stuff like that. They say if you stop taking in fluids after seven o'clock, then yeah. that'll probably well, fix that. I, I drink yeah. coffee, you know, here, yeah. and then yeah. I go to sleep. I got my bottle of water here, so you know. But um, uh, it it uh, the, the the seeds did a lot to kind of. Oh, I asked yeah. my doctor about what you had done. Mm-hmm. He said they haven't done that for fifteen years. Oh yes, they have. <laughs> they do it all the time. The seeds, mm-hmm. you know, because that because when what I told you about the radiation treatment that I had, he said, yeah, that's what most of them are doing well, nowadays. I, I had said, the radiation that, tre- that seeds old technology. It's not that old. I that's mean, what he said. I mean, that's it, what my doctor said. <laughs> well, that's fine, uh, probably because he doesn't know how to do it. No, it's, he's not uh, a urologist. Yeah. This is my GP. Oh, you know, it it uh, um, they still do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's fairly it's common. It's common to get the radiation and this, which is what I had, to just completely wipe the thing out. The radiation alone, you know, might not do it, but this did. Yes, yes, uh, Alan. Uh, uh, different subject. Last night you sent the text. Uh, Wait, email. what's more important than me peeing like a racehorse? There you go. <laughs> uh, you sent a message to Robert. Have you heard from him? Oh, yeah, I heard from him. But he didn't say why he hasn't called. Oh, he I just said, about that, too. He just said, you, he said you, you didn't post your shows last <clears throat> night. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I think he misses Phil. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll no, hear miss, that. Because, I miss Phil, too. I'd like to ask Phil one question. What Name that? one thing that Trump did in four years that benefited the public as a whole. All right. Well, well he, he might be watching this. One thing. One thing. He, I, I, look, you don't ask him a question like that because you are going to get an answer. And it's going to just bother you. Yeah. You know? So you just don't ask him a question like that. So it just doesn't bother you. The other day, when he came on this program, we didn't talk politics at all because I knew it would bother me. And we'd get into an argument and then we'd start fighting. We got through the half hour having a very nice conversation about stuff. You know, I thought, and he's pleasant in that respect. But I, at the end, I said something about Trump, and then I said, "Don't, don't, don't reply to it. Don't reply to it." You know. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, what would you? Uh, what would you like to? I can, I can text him, Vernon, or actually, I'm going to see him tomorrow afternoon. Who? Phil. 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 Okay, well, ask him that question. Condolence. Say that he yeah. was asked that question by Vernon. <laughs> ask the question again so I can write I heard it. that, Charlie. The question was, <laughs> in four years of Trump presidency, name one thing that he did that benefits society as a whole. Oh, he probably could name 20, but I'll ask him. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I mean, really, yeah. you know, not bullshit stuff like, well, we got all these judges, we got the tax cut, mm-hmm. we got the tax lowest cut, unemployment yeah. rate, blah, blah, blah. All you, of that, that's not stuff that Trump did. You want his answer? Or do you want an answer that, that's okay with you? That's the trouble. No, he, I, I want to hear what he honestly thinks. Well, you he know, could say he cured cancer. <clears throat> then well, it's true. Yeah. And, and we'd all cry bullshit. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. he cured COVID. There's no question about that. It's just we laughed him out of the out of, out of town by saying bleach, you know. But we don't know that he wasn't right because none of us are willing to swallow the bleach. Imagine inject it. Huh? Inject it. Inject it. Inject is what he said. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to that one. Boy. So you know, uh, we're talking about thermometers a while ago. You've seen those ones that you just touch the forehead with mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, I have one. Yeah. Well, I just got a new one because the one I had broke and I got a new one at Walgreens. And if you read the instructions, you're supposed to touch your temple with it. Huh. Oh, and cool. and wow. it makes it makes a one degree difference. If you touch your temple, it's warmer than if you touch the center well, of your my forehead. My problem is uh, I don't have a synagogue near me. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, okay, so here here is my 
That's here. the temple. I, oh, temple. Oh, 99.9. Why? There's that? 900 synagogues oh. in New York, and you don't know? Try to, try to, try to measure the temple. Area. Wait a minute, ninety nine point seven. Yeah, now I know why I wear a hat. The temple. Yeah, I, okay. That's, okay. I don't that's know That's because why. of all your bright yeah. lights there, Alex. Yeah, you got you all have, those floodlights on your lights lights like yeah. TV. No, yeah. Alex, can you turn your lights off? These are no, these are LEDs. In a big glare. So they don't. They don't yeah, have right off the top of your head. Hold on a second. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so Vernon, they now make the type. I think Alex has got one that you actually just. Point it. You don't know. Within a half inch. Yeah, Nine, you get it. No half inch your head. Okay, there yeah. you go. Ninety eight one. Yeah. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I haven't tried them, but uh, <laughs> every time I go to the doctor yeah. or, or anywhere, they laser you. Mm. Those are a lot faster too. Every day. Every day at work. Yep. But they, they don't they? test us. Ninety seven nine. Okay, so that's we, we have that's the thermometer, yeah, and then burn. this one went ninety nine seven or something. Ninety nine five. What is that? Try the side of your head. Ninety eight four. Try the other side. You know the ninety eight three. But Try you know chin. what the thing? Wait a minute. <laughs> Try your nose. Do you know what I think the front is? It's because I had this hat on. Yeah. 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 And it. Uh, <gasps> you know, uh, either that or I've got COVID. One or the other, but the thermometer. I, I wonder. I wonder if you could use that as an anal thermometer. <laughs> this this could be because I Ooh, here I'm gonna keep my head off for a while and I turned on the fan. Uh, could be because of the cap. I find when I have the cap on, my temperature goes up there. That's why this is not accurate because if it can be affected by a cap, whereas the the, the oral thermometer is not affected by a cap. Let's see here. There we go. 98.4. See? I'm cooling down. 98.6. 98.7. What, what? We can do this every night, and it'll take like 15 six. minutes off of the show. You're getting warmer. Yeah. You're getting warmer. Yeah. 98.5. We do Dr. Death. And then we'll do uh, Alex. Everybody take the temperature. Take okay, the well, temperature. That, that went down. I think it was it was the fact that I had the cap on for some reason. That always seems to do it lately. I don't know why, but anyway. So I'll wear it like this, right? Yeah. This is why I wear a hat. Keep yeah. me warm. Yeah, but I mean it. It uh, it, it has to do with. Uh, let's see here. There, there we go. Well, in ninety nine. You're follically challenged. 98.4. See, it's going all over the place. So, but if I go here, you say, really, that's the best place, 98.3. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I so guess now we know. I, for I mean, I don't. Hours at Walgreens. I don't think okay. I, not, I don't. And that's think, the show. Good night, everybody. Yeah, it, right. <laughs> it, we're we're going to start a whole new channel here. Alex takes his temperature all day long. So here's Vernon's. Where, where are you, Vernon? Hey. Yeah, you can't see it because it's white and, numbers, but it's 98.6. 98 that was an anal check? That was on my forehead. Oh, okay. That, this is the one that you don't touch. You actually just get it within a half inch of your head. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, this one you don't touch either. I, I hate where you're trying to do the anal one and it drops in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see. Brian, does Let's somebody check? 96.3? Does, <clears throat> does somebody check your temperature? When try you're oral thermometer. Or do you have a, an automatic system? Oh, we were doing, yeah, we have automatic system now. At the beginning, we had somebody checking, but now we have an automated system. The automated Actually, system is the way to go. But actually, let me take that back. Now, well, check the, the spike, they put they put the security guards back at the, the key hubs, and they have a person there, and then we have to answer two questions. Have you been around anybody with COVID in the last blah, blah, three days? And then the other one is, uh, have you had a temperature or something like that? I just say no and no, and I have to bend down because I'm so tall. All these right. people are short. Every, every day when I go to work at Home Depot, they have the same questionnaire you got to fill out, too. It's online, so it's real quick. You know, oh, really? what yeah. I don't get is why they're using these digital thermometers, because I do find that, it, you know, when I use the oral thermometer, I get a completely <clears throat> different reading. And and when I have a hat on for a couple hours here, sitting here, I have, yeah. have a raisin temperature. If I then 
go into the other room, sit around for a little bit, it goes down. If I go outside where it's 32 degrees, I don't know that my skin temperature is going to be 99. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I don't know why this has become preferable. It's probably because it's quick. Because it's, it's quick. quick. It's quick yeah, and easy. Yeah, they're looking for a quick check. Yeah. It's yeah, well, just a they, quick roast check. They don't worry about us at uh, Home Depot unless you have 104. 100.4. Yeah. In other words, anything like if it's 99, you wouldn't be worried. You work at Home Depot. Right. Yeah. yeah, I work part time. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. But but they ask you on the question there. They they ask you to take your temperature, and if it's 100.4 or higher, don't come to work. Oh, okay. Well, my so if my Home Depot stock goes down, I'll know who to blame. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. All right. They've been doing really well. Oh gee, look at that! Look at that! Hi, look at that! Hi. Yeah. Well, I stuck, oh yeah, yeah. That's well, a, I actually had to take a to go over to my computer and I put it in front of the computer and it registered the computer. So <laughs> right, here we go. Ninety-eight one. There we go. We're going down. I wonder if that thing's waterproof. Hmm. I wonder if it's waterproof. What do you mean waterproof? Why should why? Well, yeah, when you, next time you sit on the toilet, you can take an anal reading. <laughs> <laughs> You don't take an anal reading with it. It does it on your skin. Oh, I get it. I just tried this on my tongue and it wouldn't read. What did I find out really? tonight? I found out yeah. that I'm that I'm that I'm taking my temperature from the wrong place. Okay, and, and that the, the seeds that I had implanted for at a cost of uh, what was it, sixty thousand dollars? Don't don't work. It's last year's technology. There's nothing nothing growing. Hmm. There's nothing. Ninety six point nine. If you go online and talk, ask about uh, the uh, seeds, uh, they're still there and they still do them, and you know. But a I lot of a lot seeds. of places, you know, why a lot of places don't do the seeds, the prostate seeds, is because it is a it is a complicated uh, thing, and there are very few people in this country who truly, honestly know how to do it. And my doctor is one of them. Did Did they do it while you were conscious, or did they knock you out? Uh, they couldn't knock me out because they were worried at my age putting me out. So they gave me a, 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 a what do you call it, a spinal? A spinal. Epidural. A, a, no, it was spinal. Epidural. And, and no, right. it's, spinal. it wasn't an epidural. It was like, spinal. I think they did something in the spine. I, you know, and, and of course, that's I, what an epidural is. Yeah, block. I found yeah, out what it was like block. to be Patrick. You know, like I completely, the bottom half of my body didn't work anymore. And, uh, um, but there are very few doctors in this. It's uh, most doctors don't like to do it because it's too hard to do. It's too difficult to do. You have to. This guy's done over four thousand of them, and one of them well, was one of them was Rudy Giuliani's. So, and look how he turned out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the good news is I had my physical this month, and my PSA is point four two. Oh well, you see. Oh Lord, am I point four two? You ready for this? I t had two of them. About a month apart. One of them was my current one is point zero two. Okay, and the other one was point zero zero. Okay, mm. so uh, screw your doctor saying that seeds don't work. <laughs> <laughs> he just said it's old technology. He didn't say they didn't work. Yeah, well, it is. It's been around a while. You know. It sounds like it's working. But in the beginning, they didn't work that well. What they do, folks, in case you don't know what we're talking about, is they plant these uh, seeds in your prostate that are radioactive. And they stay radioactive for about three months, and they kill the cancer. It, initially, uh, it, it for many years, it was considered not to be terribly accurate or good. Uh, and then they started developing new ways of doing it. And uh, so, you know, uh, th this doctor knows what he's doing. You know, and he's done, gold. as I say, 4,000 of them. You know. Gold? Huh? Aren't gold, gold, weren't they gold seeds or gold coated or something? They, I don't know what they are. No, they're, they're just, they're, they're some, I forget what kind of radiation they are. It's, uh, oh, okay. you know, but. Uh, I think he was talking about the material they're made out of, gold. Yeah, I don't think they're made out of gold. I don't think so. If they are, I'm melting my prostate down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're. It, they might use gold because it's inert, you know, and uh, it doesn't react to a lot of things. Yeah, well, so, these are radioactive. I can't remember so, what they told me. They, they told me what 
radiation, a radioactive component it is, but I can't remember. But now let's hear from Jeff because we haven't heard almost a word out of Jeff all I know, night. I've hardly oh, he's in, a, he's in a new room today, too. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, no well, fish is on the wall. I like your My painting there, Jeff. What did you say? My wife was over here. Mm -hmm. and she was making a lot of noise. Really? Oh, okay. Oh. And so that's why you didn't participate much. Right. I kind of turned the sound off. And Trucker, yeah, Trucker Steve's been a little, quiet, a little quiet tonight. How you doing, Trucker Steve? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll take that yeah. as a yes. I'm sitting in my man cave. It, it, how's, oh. your, uh, how's your leg or your knee? Your knee. Uh, the swelling's gone down a bit. I'm still limping a little bit, but it feels a lot better. Don't That's you good. love this show? Yeah. Everybody's got an ailment. It's wonderful. Except oh, Brian. Yeah. He's the tester. Have, Brian tests all the Brian doesn't have an ailment, do you, Brian? <laughs> I have uh, my uh, high blood pressure runs in my family, so I take a uh, little something for that. That's all. Okay, so it's, it's I, I, got, I got that too. I got uh, I take uh, Ramapro. I had an ear I infection this week. Oh, okay, <laughs> sucked. I was so dizzy. Ray, and... Ray, what are you doing? What are you doing right now for work? Nothing. Are you doing, any doing no, acting? Been... Yeah, I've active? been like doing stuff on Zoom. I directed some stuff on Zoom. I've been doing some like graphic stuff for people. What did he do before COVID? Nothing. He's an actor. Yeah, most of the time <laughs> I was doing nothing anyway. So what's what the difference? Is? He was no, doing no, Uber wanna, for a I while. See you when I oh, I've been see driving you. kids around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, for these two <laughs> companies, little kids. Oh, and little kids. Okay. Yeah. On yeah. Zoom and hop, skip, drive. It's like Uber for kids. That's got to be annoying. Oh, really? That's got to be. No, annoying. they don't. They don't. They're, they're totally silent. They're scared to death. You know, it's like. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like their parents tell them not to talk to strangers, and then here's this, you know, guy <laughs> driving them around. <laughs> That's funny. One of them actually told me that yesterday for the first time. The first kid who ever talked. He's like, "Why do they tell us not to talk to strangers, and then they let it, and they have a stranger pick us up?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Is it, Poor kid. Is it uh, rich, rich Palo Alto people or what? All over the Bay Area, but it's mostly like special needs kids who go to like schools yeah. that the, the special the, the need county is pays the, for, and the, then they pay for the yeah. transportation. The special too. need oh, okay. is that they 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 want to hang around an actor. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. They don't even know. Yeah. I'm not, You're supposed yeah. to. Have you ever seen the movie Airplane, where I forget yeah. who the pilot was, where the little kid comes up and he says. Have you ever seen men uh, uh, in in a locker yeah, room? No, 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 no. He says, "Do you like gladiator films?" That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. That's yeah. funny. Did you hear funny. Cloris Leachman passed away today? Yeah, yeah I mentioned yeah. that earlier. Yeah, he was great. Oh, okay. Yeah. My yeah, favorite sure. line from Airplane, though, is, "You know, surely you must be joking." He surely. says, "No, I'm not Shirley. joking, and don't call me Shirley." Yeah. I love that. Right. <laughs> he was that guy. What was his name? Uh, uh, Leslie Nielsen. Oh my God! Because the thing with him is, you didn't think he would be funny the way he looked, and he's just hilarious. You know, he looks like a, such a like a upstanding. Well, he he, well, he didn't do did dramas he, for decades. He, he didn't do comedies until that, and then oh, okay. he did and that, then, and then it worked done. so well. Everybody good. hired him to do comedies. He's so funny, you know. Yeah, the Naked Gun. Funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did they get him confused with another actor? Look like him also. <laughs> I always make jokes about that. Does anybody remember the TV show, though, that it came from, that was based on? It was called no. Police Squad. It lasted oh, about yeah, 13 yeah, right. weeks. Yeah, right. It was yeah. a very funny show, and it was then the same people did... did uh, uh, Three Jews. Did the police... What were a the police? Abram, Zucker, and yeah, Abrams. Yeah, well, no, uh, uh, an airplane was taken from a movie, actually, that had been done a few years earlier. Airplane. Oh. Uh, no, airport. not airport. Yeah, it was no, no, it was airport. called the something skies. Uh, I can't remember now, but uh, no, what I'm talking about is the police uh, thing they did. What was oh. it called? Uh, the Naked Academy? Gun. Naked Gun. Police Squad, and then it was based on Police gun, Squad. Yeah, the Naked Gun was done after Police yeah, Squad. Yeah, they, 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 by the same three Jewish guys. Yeah, and it was basically the same main characters. You know. So anyway. Yep. Mm. Yeah, police squad. You, let's stop this. It's getting to sound like the Jack Bishop show. Um, <laughs> 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 How about Kelly on Conway? Kelly oh, yeah. and Conway in jail yet? 
She got in trouble. Yeah. For posting the nudes. Are those her no pictures yet? Her, are those, are her those... sixteen year old daughter shirtless. No she... pictures yet? Is anybody well, they got taken down, but some Someone people has her screens, yeah. Well, did she have did she have a nice rack? I mean, I want to know. <laughs> I haven't seen I gotta it. scour the internets. You see, what, what happened What happened was to try to control her daughter's uh, social media, every once in a while she'd get her daughter's phone mm -hmm. and she'd go through her daughter's phone. And she found apparently a photo on her daughter's phone where she had taken a picture of herself shirtless. And so Kelly <coughs> took a picture of that picture and somehow it got on Twitter. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> somehow. Well, you can make those mistakes. <laughs> I mean, she claims, she claims her phone was hacked. I mean, yeah. I'm sure there are people who, for instance, uh, send a message to somebody that they don't want anybody else to see, and somehow it goes out to their entire contact list. Oh, yeah. You know, that, oh, yeah. Th those things yeah. happen. But it, but in the case of her, it would be called child endangerment. But yeah. if she didn't do it on purpose, okay? I didn't yeah. mean to shoot the guy at the gas station on purpose. Yeah. No, but, I mean, that, you know, I mean, she took a, it, it, she had a right to go into her daughter's phone. Okay, she's still the parent. She has a right to do that. And okay. if she took a picture of what was on there, she probably wanted to confront her with it later. And, uh, uh, you know, if somehow it wound up on Twitter. First Amendment rights. No, it's not, it has nothing to do with First Amendment. I still yep. want to know, does she have a nice rack? That's all I want to know. I'm I will to never. Out. Otherwise, it's a non-use. What do you say, uh, Charlie? I found him. I, I found will him. never have a naked picture of no. either of my daughters. No, don't put them up or never. anything. Don't show them to us. What no. about it? What about yourself? No, don't show them to us. I got plenty of naked pictures of myself. <laughs> I found. I found the pictures. Okay, well, don't put them up. No, I won't. I won't. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah send everybody the link, Ray. Okay. <laughs> does, does she? Ha does she have a nice rack? Is the question. All right. Let's see. It's I'm, I'm waiting. I'm oh, waiting. My God. How do you know that? How do you know that it's it's the 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 pictures or not well, somebody who's just putting stuff up and then getting uh, people to go to them and now your entire computer is, like inf an is infected with the worst uh, virus since uh, since Corona. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> I have three granddaughters. So yeah. Four yeah. granddaughters. You have three granddaughters? So yeah. I have four granddaughters. Four granddaughters. And they're all teenagers. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Oh, oh okay. My answer is, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no matter what it is. Yeah. Well, what's a, what's a Twitter? <laughs> she had some nice Twitters. Uh, <laughs> I thought they were TikToks. It could be TikToks. <laughs> If she took it with TikTok, didn't she put who put put it up on tip TikTok? Didn't it go up on TikTok or something? No, she's a big TikToker influencer, I guess. Oh, yeah. is she really? Yeah. She just trashes yeah. her mother constantly uh, on there. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. she's a big liberal. I'm, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I'm. Dad. I'm. Uh, yeah. I, I've I've decided to be an influencer, and so far I uh, have one account, Metamucil. So. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's it's working out okay for me. Hey, Alan, thank you for being with us tonight. Same to you, Vernon. Always good to have you here. Uh, Trucker Steve, glad to hear that your gout is getting progressively better. Uh, mm -hmm. Charlie, um, his toes haven't grown back yet. No. But that's, oh, that's, that's cold. That, huh? What do you mean it's cold? That's cold. Charlie Four Toes. <laughs> That's right. That's a name. From last night, Charlie Fortos. That's, That's a great name. name. Hey, Charlie You'd Fortos. be afraid you're going to get only four toes, but. Yeah. Hey, Charlie good, Fortos. Good to see you Tony. again, Tony. Keep calling now. It's good therapy, okay? Uh, yes, Brian, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Jeff. And thank you to Ray Renati. Uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye in return. There they go, folks. That's the. Uh, that's the uh, that's the citizen panel for tonight, and uh, Jack Bishop is next with the uh, with the intersection. Uh, he'll be using Skype for you to call at GabNet Live is the thing you put into into Skype to get to him. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. By the way.
Be safe out there. Wear a mask. Oh, and gay schleffen. Yeah, it's a Yiddish term. See you later.